Hello, all my beautiful people. Welcome. This is Rollover Tuesday. So what do I do here? Well, I just literally take all the change that I have left over in my wallet and put it towards Rollover Tuesday. It's money that I had budgeted for, but I did end up spending it, which is great. It's always a good thing. And I put it towards a single unit called Rollover Tuesday. Um, I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with it this time round. What I did last time round was for the month of January, February, March, April. Yes, four months. I collected all the change. It came up to $520. And I put that towards uh, my bills buffer, which was great. It really made a huge difference. This time around, I'm not too sure if I'm going to put it as one lump sum to a single goal or am I going to break it up. And that's why I've got it in, I guess, each row so that if I have the ability to break it up, I'll do that, or I'll just put it as a singular fund to one thing. But without further ado, my name is Michelle. I'm a cash-based budgeter here on, in Western Australia. And as I said, this is just me documenting my journey. Without further ado, uh, before I get to Rollover Tuesday, I need to pay the bank. So what has been happening lately? And I've become very, very, very bad. So, naughty Michelle. I've been using my bills buffer quite regularly to actually pay for quite a few things. And I need to pay back the bank. And if I don't, my bills buffer is going to suffer. Um, a lot of people use their credit cards very responsibly. And I admire those people. However, my husband and I have had several discussions on it and we just do not want to get any credit cards. We were very bad with credit cards in our early, I'm going to say early years because I don't want to give away my age here <laughs> um, or at least not yet. And so we, when we, when we got married, what was one of our goals when we got married was that we were not going to have a single credit card between the both of us. And we have done really well with that. And because of that, a bank at least gave us the opportunity to get, I guess, uh, a mortgage because we had good credit. We just chose not to have any credit cards. And, however, we did have savings. And this is what really hit home. We were good at paying the bills, but literally paycheck to paycheck. We never had money for the rainy day or money when an annual bill will come along. Oh, Lord, those were stressful. So this is why we're doing this. So... I've started this expense chart where I document um, my expenditure and then if anything has to go back to the bills buffer, I would take out monies from either my sinking funds or my cash envelopes. So what I'm going to do now is actually go through my sinking funds and pull out the money that I need here. So first up here is we bought some umbrellas from Bunnings. So I'm actually going to take that out of the home binder. Even though it's not a home item, or is is umbrellas a home item? I'm going to say it is. So we've got 10, 20. I'm going to try and update these trackers as I go. What's today? Ooh. I hope today is the 30th. <laughs> All right, that leaves 60 in there. I'm going to take a hit for $4 because I don't have the change in here. Actually, you better put that negative there. Otherwise, I'm going to think I should be plus. Okay. Um, I already paid for my coffees. That's why the sticker is there. For those who may not know, I'm doing this tracker from Just Roll It and Glitter. And I am not those people. I am not going to give up coffee. Not happening. Uh, uh, it gives me way too much joy. And the whole point of budgeting is so that I can enjoy um, the simple pleasures of life, isn't it? 
so but however i'm using this more as a giving tracker so every time i have a coffee i put a dollar i mark it off and put a dollar so when this whole tracker is full this should be about 20 dollars in here i'm going to either get a gift card to give someone or i'm going to buy coffees for other people it's going to be part of it's kind of it's a giving tracker so that's how I am using this one. So no, that coffee, when I put a sticker there for that day, that means I've already donated to this. All right, so I'm going to mark off that as being money put aside. All right, so I've paid that. I've paid that. Oh, everyone, story time must check your accounts regularly i had this come up as an apple pay or an apple payment of 24.99 and i had no idea what it was i went through my subscriptions i went through my account i had no idea what that was then i went did the apple settings where you actually see your purchases discovered that either my husband or my son playing with the remote may have purchased this movie unknowingly no idea it's not even a movie we would even consider watching so i've put in a dispute so i'm still waiting to see if i can get that money back i i really don't know if i will but always check your account try and put passwords wherever you can this was on the apple tv remote so i have to figure out how to put a password on that never had to think about doing things like that before but now with a son i got to but i've lost that money uh, it's come out of Bill's Buffer. It's not money that I have any envelope for. So I've lost it at this stage. Let's hope that Bill's Buffer, like that dispute works out in my favor. All right. So pharmacy uh, and health. <coughs> Sorry. $22.98. I'll just put $25. I can't do simple math today. Sorry, everyone. I am way too tired. Oh, <laughs> why did I just count this? <coughs> did that pen just drop on the floor? I think it did. Or is it somewhere here? I can never start a video where I am not a hot mess, can I? That's all right. I use another color. So pharmacy is paid. Backers, that was $7. That will come out of the takeaway. So I'll put $10 there. You lose some, you win some. Okay. What's next? KFC, ah, so as you can tell, there was a lot of takeaway this week and that's because the sun was sick, I was feeling under the weather, not much cooking, are ah, good, so I'm going to use that, that was also from the takeaway fund. We had another Maccas of 2010. Uh, I actually don't have money for that, but what I might do is take it out of dining. Dining in takers. What do I have here? I have 20. Sorry, you're zero again. Pharmacy again. Oh, uh, well, that envelope has been cleared, that means. So, as you most of you would know or have caught in my other videos, my son has been quite ill, so a lot of it has gone as um, he's had to get Ventolin, preventative puffer, antibiotics, you name it. We've had to get quite a few things, so we have lost out 
in that regard. And obviously I don't have enough money in here to cover it, but it is what it is. At least I've got something towards it. We'll do a count at the end of this to let you know how much I'm putting towards the bills buffer. And mascara I bought, it was on sale at the pharmacy. So I thought and mine was coming to an end, so what's that? If anyone's interested in these little highlighters, I find them very handy and they're just Kmart ones. It was brilliant. Okay. All right, so coffees we had two that day uh, so two of these will get filled and because it was two so it's two dollars I'll take it out of the coins that I see here part of my rollover and this is why I'm doing this now because what I noticed last week is that when I did this after I'd done my rollover, I was actually short in my bills buffer, which I could have used some of my roller mo rollover money to fund it. So uh, that's why I'm doing it before I do rollover. Two dollars. Okay, there. Okay. Uh, coffee sticker. I'm just trying to do it as I go so that I don't miss anything or don't lose my momentum. And then we've got, so gift, uh, the guitar pedal was already paid by cash, gift. I uh, bought two gifts actually, so one was for 39 uh, because that included the wrapping paper, the card, and then I bought my little son also a gift. Um, it just felt cruel not to get him one. So that came to $64. Let me just double check that. So it was 32 plus 20. Can't count. 32 plus 25. Uh, $5 for the card and wrapping paper. 64 So $64 will need to come out of gifts. What I'll do is I'll just take the full 70. That way I can put that little extra and kind of make up for the areas that I haven't been able to. So we've got 150 left over. Not bad. All right, so as you can see, Hubby and I did quite a bit of damage this week. Okay, so gifts here has been taken care of. Sorry, I shook the camera there. Um, and then came out home. So we bought some home goods from Kmart so that will come out of home items as well what if I should put tabs on the top here so it's quicker and easier to get through all right so it came to 51 
I'm just going to put the 50. Oh, stinky fuzz has taken a hit. But isn't that the point of having stinky funds? Is that is that you have the money to make these purchases. So you're not you shouldn't feel guilty because you have the money. Okay. What else? Alright, so we did some grocery shopping. However, some of it was paid and some of it not. What is not paid is a hundred and nine dollars because that went straight on to the bills buffer. However, how much do I have here? I have 60. And what I will do, so not this binder. I'll take out my savings binder. And the $50 that I have here in Bill's Buffer. That's why I have this here. It's kind of like my miscellaneous spending so that should I fall short anywhere or if something comes up, I have this money that I can fall on. So I need to actively work next month to build this up to 200 again. All right, so I'm going to put that one away. So that's also been taken care of. The one area that I can't take care of is this one here, which was takeaway again for $20. So my bills buffer is going to have to take that hit there, which, you know what, I'm not too fussed. So how much am I taking back to the bank? I've got... 50, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100. So that's 300 there. 10, 20, 30, 40. So 340 dollars goes back to the bank for my bills buffer. Two hundred. Just recounting it, guys. Yeah, three forty. So this money is gonna go back to the bank, so that when I'm doing my end of month budget or end of month, it all makes sense. Back to the bank. I only had one no spend day which was Sunday and I was at a Pirates and Mermaids theme party and that is why we had a no spend day. The whole day went there. <laughs> um, it's funny how your social life now is, it's actually your kid's social life. You're actually really dependent on your kid and what parties he's been invited to. <laughs> um, but it was very cute. I enjoyed it. Okay. And that's this week. It's done. So... Sorry it's taking so long, but we'll get started into Rollover Tuesday. It's important for us to keep on track of this as well because this is just added savings. So what I'm going to do here is take all the balances from the week before and put it as my starting balance here. Of course, I picked a pen that does not want to work. <laughs> all right, does this one want to work? All right, so 30, 45... 23, 7, 10, 90. So we had $115 for rollover for last week. We have quite a few fives here. So these fives are what happens with the what five dollar notes. So if we if me or my husband get five dollars as change for any of our transactions, we do not roll it over. We do not put it back into our normal envelopes. We just put it to the side because we literally save every five dollar note. That's how we that's how we get our rollover. We just don't spend the five dollars. 
So sometimes our budget takes a big hit because we're like, oh, we don't have enough money. But somehow it just adds up or it works out that we manage. And so we would like to keep going with it. Um, and we can actually save quite a bit of these fires. Why can't I do this right? Why can't I get them all? Okay, getting there, getting there. All right. <sighs> yes, finally, all in the right way. And those are the coins. So again, coins we don't spend. So we don't have any 10s or 20s to add here. So that's going to be a zero here. So that's just 30. For $5, what am I adding this time around? I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. That's brilliant. Should put that here. That's excellent. So one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. I am not going to count all those fives because the whole point of the tracker. So, and I would be kind of surprised as well, <laughs> even though I have a tracker. Okay, for two dollars, what am I adding this time around? I've got. Oh, that's a nice shiny one. So, oh, it's a nice colored one. Indigenous military services. That's a beautiful one. Okay, I'm not counting that. I'm putting that to the side. <laughs> I do collect the color two dollar coins, so we got four dollars there. So that is twenty seven dollars there. Put that to the side. You got two one dollar coins, so that is eight and nine. All right, let's see if we can round this up. For weeks, I've not been able to do that. All right, so we got a dollar. $1.60, $1.65, oh, that is just annoying, <laughs> uh, but it is what it is, every cent in this case counts, $12.55, 25 more cents needed, <laughs> um, someone was very kind to me to say, oh, I wish you could send me a virtual 10 cents, you know, oh, if only that existed, um all right so let's see what i am ending rollover tuesday with One forty-eight fifty-five. so what did i add this time around i added 32 dollars and 65 cents to rollover tuesday you know what if that doesn't motivate someone i don't know what will i know it motivates me every week to do this i without fail i love collecting my change this is my favorite section of my channel is just seeing how change can make savings that's 148 dollars that i have saved just in the month of may in just change and rollover money ah, fantastic um the other thing i highly recommend is just save the five dollars it makes a huge difference at least it's made a huge difference in my sense and yes i do understand there are people out there with much stricter budgets or much lower income or don't have the ability to save as much try rollover i, I can guarantee you you will see the difference and this could become part of your sinking funds i i know Kel kellen cole she uses her rollover to actually fund her sinking funds and savings challenges, which I think is brilliant. So, yay. All right, everyone, I'm gonna sign out here because it has become a long video and I'm truly, I'm sorry, but I have to do this. This is me documenting my journey and documenting it 
by showing you how I am paying my expenses and making my savings. So till the next video, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and please do look after yourselves. Until the next time, bye everyone. Thank you.